Hey everybody, it's John and it's your Jagoff Six Minute Pittsburgh Fix for today, January 18th. And uh, we're Rachelist today, but we, we are going to have a co-host coming in here in a little bit here, a special co-host. But anyways, January 18th, Martin Luther King Day. Wanted to acknowledge that. Make sure you take the day and do a little bit of time to look. Here comes Jen. It's Sing just it. another Mazda Monday. Whoa, whoa, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's See, beautiful. Jen is singing all the way. All right, so here we are, Rorick Mazda, and uh, here's a few things we want to talk about for this week. First of all, we're going to play Where is Rach today? So in the comments, your choices are she's in Cleveland, she's in Maryland, she's out buying a car other than Mazda, or she's homesick. Now, if you know her, there are a few of those that you know aren't right. So anyways, uh, and she's going to comment below or we'll give you the right answer. If you get the right answer, we'll hold a raffle for someone to win a Yajagov t-shirt. How about that? So here we go. First of all, this week's podcast. And by the way, there's Jay. He's going to be our special co-host. Look at him working hard. Look at that, Jay. I don't, I don't get a break here, you guys. You don't get a break here. So you're the special co-host today. So... Let's see. Let's talk about, first of all, do you know what's on the Jagoff podcast this week? I don't, but I'm probably going to be excited. You're to check. dying to know, right? So this week, it comes out the, today on Radio.com app, and we recorded it at Liberty Pole Distillery down in Washington County. Okay, you had me at distillery. Right. Right. So anyways, our guests were Briar from Maiden PGH, okay. who talked about this. They just have great articles in, in Maiden PGH. It's, it's these short reads. It's really great. And on top of that, well, we have a secret about Briar. Anyways, uh, and on top of that, we, well, so we had Jim and Kevin, who are the owners of the distillery. And they gave us some very, very nice bourbon and whiskey drinks and cocktails. So Sorry that you missed it. Appreciate it, but, uh, you know, so go listen to the podcast. We'll put the link in there below. And also, next week's podcast, you're going to be excited because you've been here with us. We have been to the Steel City Craft Emporium. You and Ethan helped us kind of move in that day. Oh, wasn't God. that an exciting day? It was not exciting, you guys. They had so much crap, it wasn't even funny. <laughs> so, if you watch the video, you watch Jay Ness angrily throw a box into the back of the pickup truck. It was quite funny. So anyways, we're going to be there from 10 until 2 next Saturday, or, and, uh, or next Sunday. And uh, what we're going to do is um, record the podcast there for about an hour, have our guest yeah, Mike Zidell, comedian Mike Zidell. We're going to have the guys from Azazu there. And uh, yeah, going to have a good time down there. So that's next Saturday's podcast recording. All right. Uh, Made in PGH is cool in that this week, they featured an article about hot sauce. Where to get? Now you're a chef, Jay. You, you, a make your, you're a make your own chef, but quite a good chef. Are you a hot sauce guy? You know, I'm. I do like things a little spicy. Personally, I usually just do the red pepper flakes, so that way there's not a lot of extra flavor that goes into it. But I will say, I have gobbled up your pub sauce. Nice. It's, it's delicious. See that? He's a Fathom Pub Sauce guy. But so in Made in PGH, Colin Parrish wrote a really nice article about different hot sauces you can use. So we're going to put the link in there. You need to go see it. Now, last night was uh, yesterday afternoon, actually, was the first Penguins win of the season. And so, you know, that's why I we wore this here. Like a sports fan, you guys. <laughs> All right. Right. The good news is, is that you can pack lots of hockey equipment into a CX-5. A CX-9, tons of it. But on top of that, we want to talk about our friends at Sign On Sports. SignOnSports.com. Casey DeSmith was the winning goaltender yesterday, and they have a special on sign-on items. Signed by who? Casey DeSmith, the Penguins goalie. All right, so that's, that's that. Um, doors open Pittsburgh. Now, are you a Roberto Clemente fan? Do you, you're, you're old enough to at least remember the stories, right? Probably not. Mind you, I, I know. I'm like, I feel like the anti-Pittsburgh saying this because this is like <laughs> Pittsburgh's best podcast. And here I am, grew up in Ohio. I'm not even a Pittsburgh native. I'm a the, Pittsburgh transplant here. But, you know, we always say like over there, th those it's like a suburb of Pittsburgh over there because we're so uh, close. Yeah, it is. It's, and that's how I ended up here. Exactly. And, you know, we're glad to have you. As, we, we would definitely take you as a Pittsburgher. Just don't start injuring everything. Exactly. We'd appreciate that. So, anyways, Roberto Clemente is being honored. You know, this is uh, Martin Luther King Day. And because of that, Doors Open Pittsburgh is doing a virtual tour 
of the Roberto Clemente Museum, which is over in the Lawrenceville area. So uh, we're going to put a link in here. But tonight, for $5, only $5 only, you can get online two different times and take a virtual tour of the Roberto Clemente oh, wow. Museum, which, in case you're not, it's, it's an amazing museum, and it's literally the largest a uh, group of items, inventory of items dedicated to Robert, uh, Roberto Clemente. And it's family approved and baseballs. And it's interesting to go there and see the suits. Yeah, I know you're into fashion. See the suits that he wore back in the 70s. See, I think that's a great idea because usually when I'm out and about like looking at stuff or kind of taking in scenery, I want a cocktail. So you can't really do that walking through the museum, but you can do that virtually. So I think that's a phenomenal idea. And it's crazy. You can go there and see contracts typed out actually on a typewriter. Really? Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's just kind of an odd a step back in time. Totally cool. Anyways, that's door, doors open Pittsburgh tonight. And we'll put the link in here below. All right. And uh, speaking of podcasts, by the way, Mary Mac Bakehouse, who I think you might have had some of her muffins and oatmeal. Very tasty. And uh, she is celebrating, her and her, her and her daughters are celebrating five years of podcasting really? this week. Yeah. I never knew that either. Like, Mary looks like she's 10 years old and holds her age well, but she's been podcasting for five years. Never knew that. So, congratulations to Mary. Here, we'll drink or something. Jay, what are we drinking here? Oh, because gosh. It's all this healthy stuff. It's, it's terrible. It really tastes like garbage. You know, it, we can put people on the moon and develop 5G, but we can't make a great tasting protein shake. <laughs> I don't get it. But it's always nice to be here on Monday. I have to apologize. I got hat hair going and just stuff everywhere. It's been very, very busy. But it's actually a good thing. You know, Mazda, as I had mentioned, kind of all of our New Year's deals and everything carried right over from Christmas into the New Year. So it's kind of nice to have that continuation of sales. And then February is always a big month as well. Kind of scrolling into February, you have things like Valentine's Day. And believe it or not, there are some pretty cool people out there that shop on Valentine's Day for their significant other. You know, I need to get on board with that. So that way I get a car for Valentine's Day. I usually get like a box of Reese pieces. So, you know, if, if anyone, AKA Ethan is listening to this podcast, you know, I don't want Reese pieces. How about a car? But regardless, speaking of car, just come down and visit us. The thing is you can kind of see they stuff me in a corner. I have a mask, a hat head. I have a damn jar of peanut butter. It's not a scary atmosphere as people think. But luckily, we'll be able to help you out in any way that we can. And then we always encourage you to just come and see exactly why Rorick, for almost the last six years, we've been the number one Mazda dealer in the entire region. That's awesome. All right. So Jay and Timothy and Russell and Ray and Christine and Dawn and uh, Sharon, Suzanne, we're, we're today, in case you missed the beginning, today we're playing Where is Rach? And the guesses were Cleveland... Maryland, homesick, or out buying a car other than a Mazda? Well, let's just scrap that off the <laughs> list right now. Because if Rachel buys anything, it's going to be a Mazda, or I will, like, burn her house down. Right. And you know it's not going to be off sick because... She is never taking off sick. She's not she... sick because I saw her Facebook and she looked like she was having a decent little family get together the other day. So she's not sick. So it's between Cleveland and Maryland. All right. So, Rach, if you're on, comment on below. If not, I will comment after we sign off. But comment. It's either Cleveland or Maryland. If you've made the right guess and there are multiple guesses, Jay and I will come up with a prize. Now I feel like this is a kidnapping. Like, if you can hear this comment. Like, <laughs> just... Are you safe? <laughs> All right. Well, as Rachel might say, this is Jay's office. And this is, like Alexander Hamilton, this is the room where it all happens. Right I know, there. it's a mess. I got water, sparkling water, this nasty stuff that lit it, I don't, can't even describe what it tastes like. <laughs> Basically, whoever did research and development that day never tasted anything pumpkin or spice in their life. <laughs> all right. All right. It is, remember, it's Martin Luther King Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So please go out and educate yourself as to why he was such an important part. And feel Very free to transfer so. that information as well. And then come on down and see Jay because look, this is the room where it happens. Bye.